All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so let's look at the updated numbers here for COVID-19. And we, we know that for you people that are new, uh, these are not the real numbers. We, I think a lot of, I think everybody knows that by now. Um, and we usually times it by 10 or times it by, you know, 20 or even some people are timesing it by 100. Okay, so the real numbers are somewhere between 10 million to 100 million infected around the world. I would go with more about, you know, 50 million people around the world are infected and about three to five million people have passed away. Uh, that's just me, but I could be wrong. Of course, um, you can see here on the map that Asia is starting to lighting up because a lot of people are recovering quote unquote recovering and they only have 82,543 even though they have billions of people in this land in this country and the, the virus was spreading three months before they even made it public but yet they say that they're they have less uh, infection people than France and Germany and Italy Spain USA so do you believe that or do you not believe that? Also reports that um, many people have been reinfected and they're, of course, they're not putting those numbers out as well. So, you know, this is what's going on in, in Asia and unfortunately in China and uh they're going to continue. I mean, Japan didn't even get affected. You know what I mean? Hong Kong wasn't even affected. They only have a few cases in Hong Kong and Japan, you know. So, I mean, this is what they're saying. But do you believe that or do you think that they're lying? Um, it, it, you know, for me, the, the, the clear evidence was that when they re reinstated the um, movie theaters and they wanted to reopen the basketball league, they immediately shut it all down. That should say something. Okay. Now they're talking about, well, we're now dealing with wave number two of the virus. People that are coming back to Asia are, are infected and now they're spreading it throughout everybody else. Well, guess what's going to happen now? Deaths are going to be, deaths are going to go through the roof. But of course, they're not going to report that. Okay, why? Why are deaths going to go through the roof in Asia? Because reinfections go from three per three to ten percent uh, death rate all the way to thirty percent death rate if you get reinfected. And if you get reinfected for the third time, it goes from thirty percent to ninety percent death rate. But Asia will not report any truth, so they continue to lie and say everything is fine, even though they shut their movie theaters down, they went back into lockdown uh, in most areas in Asia, and they also stopped their basketball league and have delayed it. But they're going to tell you that everything is fine, and um, and so the truth will just won't come out of Asia until they remove the Communist Party. All right, so 64,000 deaths is recorded here, which we know is a complete lie. Uh, if you times that by 10, then that puts us around 6 million deaths. Uh, I think maybe that might be, a, that could be right on point. It could be 6 million deaths. It could be five. I think it's around three to 5 million deaths, but it could be six. And I, I wouldn't disagree with that if you think it's 6 million deaths or, or 600,000 deaths. You know, you times it by 10 is 600,000, not 6 million, but uh, times 100, then it's 6 million, right? Because only at 64,000. So if you times it by 100, then it's 64. For is 640,000, right? If you times it by 10, excuse me, 640,000. If you times it by 100, it's 6 million, right? Uh, okay, so that's what's going on. Um, let's see here, total recovery, 245,000, but they don't tell you how many of those people have been reinfected. And so when this goes, when, when they start to clear this area, they're not, recon they're not considering the reinfected people, okay? There's millions of, probably million, a million people have been reinfected um, by the second wave that has come up, but they're not gonna let you know that because they don't want you to know that, <laughs> okay? Um, and I guess eventually humanity will deal with this bioweapon virus, whatever it is, 
we we will just deal with it and say, you know what, it's here, it's here. It might be dormant, you know, in the summer times and then return in the fall, or maybe stay quiet until 2022, and then we 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 will have to deal with this again. Um, because I was told there's three there's three major viruses that are going to pandemics that are going to happen in this decade, and this is the first one. This is this is like a test run, uh, like a drill to see how we we're all going to play it out, and then there's two more to come, and a lot of people are saying 2022 will be the next one, and then there'll be another one after that, and it could be 2028, could be 2030, could be 2026, I don't know, but it's going to, they were supposed to be three, okay, this is the first one, there's two more to come that are going to be, that are going to give global pandemics, okay, um, so this is what we're dealing with. And these are the people that are in these laboratories absolutely creating these types of weapons, bioweapons or viruses to de to create, you know, to destroy humanity, depopulate humanity, and to make humanity surrender to their new world order antichrist system uh, and their um and to be enslaved by closing their shops and things like that. So uh closing your small businesses, you can't compete against them, only they win. Uh they get the monopolized they get to do a one world currency uh they they get to do any everything that they want to do uh and then talk about we need to all come together um for one world religion and all this stupid stuff so uh this is their plan their their big plan to do all this stuff and they're using this stupid virus to to make it happen um Okay, so we're at 1,192,028 cases here with the fake numbers, uh, 305,000 now in the USA, and um, we have we have more evidence after more evidence that the test kits are causing the virus. Okay, the virus is in many of these test kits. That's why the numbers in America are absolutely soaring. And you also heard from Pink today. Pink says, hey, look, the, the R&B singer, the pop singer, R&B singer, whatever she is, right? She's pop R&B or pop singer, whatever. Um, she uh, she says, oh, look, I have the virus, you know, and but, you know, she smashes the government. She trashes the government for limiting the test uh, kits out there. And, uh, you know, here, here, here's another Zionist puppet trying to get trying to get the whole entire America to be tested because the virus is in the test okay uh, not all of the test kits have the virus but you know maybe one third of them does and so maybe half of them do you know what I mean Donald Trump knows this that's why he's trying to limit the testing okay also they try to say look everybody should be tested Donald Trump says that's ridiculous if you don't have any symptoms or anything then you shouldn't be tested because Donald Trump knows that the virus is in the test kits that's why we're soaring in numbers Spain is at 124 uh, thousand. Italy's at 124,000 as well. Germany is at 95,000. France is at 90,000. China is fake numbers. China should be at 1 million easy. One, China should be at easily 3 to 5 million easily or more. Um, Iran at 55, United Kingdom at 42, Turkey at 23. So Turkey's starting to rise a lot here. So we got to watch Turkey here. Turkey's starting to rise. Uh, 20,000 in Switzerland, 18,000 in Belgium. All right, so that's what's going on. Turkey and United Kingdom are rising, and so we'll see what they do this week as they can as their numbers start to rise and start to accelerate. I think they're they they just begun the acceleration period. I think the other ones the other ones have been in the acceleration period for a while now. Uh, these two are starting to accelerate. Um, so we'll see if they actually surpass some of these names here in, in the coming weeks as they are in the acceleration period. As America starts to die down here in the next two weeks, we are going to max out these next two to, these next two weeks, this week and next week. We're going to max out, and then we're going to start seeing the numbers fall between these ne next two weeks, okay? Um, we're already in the fourth, so we only really have 11 days. Within these next 11 days, we're going to max out, and then we're going to start to fall. 
Okay, and many of the prophets believe that it's going to happen during Passover, and of course, Passover begins on the eighth. So the eighth to the sixteenth, we're going to we're going to hit our max numbers, and then we're going to start the fall after the uh, Passover, uh, or during the Passover, or after Passover, we're going to start the fall, and um, our numbers are going to start to drop, and then we, as we have, as uh, the prophets have said, and Prophet Solomon said, by June. Um, after June, this virus is over, it's, it's gone. Now, this doesn't mean that the virus is actually gone. It just means that, it, you know, it's dormant in, in, or it could go dormant um, or people could recover and it's dormant in some of people's bodies and the weather is hot. So it's just going to, and you take the, you know, maybe your immune system, people, a lot of people's immune system take over and, uh, and, the, and the virus is dormant and it stays dormant for maybe two years. And then 2022, it starts again and it, it, it starts to just, you know, take havoc of people's bodies again. Okay. So best case scenario is not to have not to get it at all right not to get it at all because then you don't have to worry about it being dormanted in your body you think that you're over it and then two years later it reattacks you again and this time it reattacks you even worse than it did the first time um so the, the key is not to get it at all because then you don't have to even deal with that right um and if you do have it and you are and you do defeat it you know, um, I, I would recommend the, uh, well, I'm not going to recommend, I'm not a doctor or anything like that or, or, or some, but I would, what I would do if I did have something like that, I would use the bush bitters from Sabi, from, from Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi's bush bitters is, is, a is a powerful abstract, um, that kills parasites, kills viruses, parasites. Um, it kills STDs and uh all types of stuff it it literally annihilates um the uh parasites and diseases and viruses so that's what i would use um and uh yeah but anyways it is what it is um also uh you know staying in the um staying in the alkaline on you know diet and having an alkaline diet of lots of veggies and fruits and and taking your sea moss and things like that and the, the keeping you in that in keeping your your respiratory system looking really good and strong would also help you out as well to not allow the virus to ever come back out and actually to die in your body Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a nice little quick update. United States is over 350,000 now, or oh, 305,000 now. Uh, let's see what the rest of the week be begins, you know, or uh, brings. Let's see if America can act. Does America get to 500,000 by the end of this coming week that's coming up? You know, by this time next week, is America at 500,000 infected? Now, remember, these are the fake numbers. So we, if you times it, America might have 5 million people infected. Who knows? Anyways, peace out. God bless. You can see there that Africa is still chilling with barely anything and South America, barely anything as well. And and Russia has nothing. <laughs> Russia has nothing. So and they're just not reporting. A lot of these places are just not reporting or don't know how to report or don't even know what the symptoms are because they don't have the uh, te technology or they don't have the information about it as well. So many of the poor places in the world don't have information, don't have technology. So they, they, okay, they just can't report it because they don't know what it is all right peace out god bless and i'll see you guys in the next video bye